So we're gonna work on a lying hamstring curl here today, similar to what we talked about in a lot of the other leg movements, the pivot point or the axis of rotation of the machine. So where the machine rotates, it can't move back and forth. So we wanna leave the knee joint as aligned as we can, because that's gonna act as an axis rotation at the knee. So we want it in line with here, so it's not pulling the knee joint forward or back. So Braden's already kind of set up here. One of the mistakes we often see people do is not have any glute tension and they lift their hips up as they come up. What you wanna do here is because we have a counter force being the pad, we want him to kind of put a little bit of pelvic uh, attention here and the glutes. And then he's gonna work on bringing the calf right to here whilst keeping this pushed down a little bit into position. Some machines, are just not that well designed to allow you to keep your hips down. If that feels like that's your machine, lie on a hip thrust pad right here. Put a hip thrust pad underneath your pelvic region and that'll allow you to have something to push into so your hips don't have to come up. Same thing here. We're not worrying about coming so far up that the foot comes past the knee. That's not necessarily what we're worried about. Right here is about where the hamstring is gonna get short. And then same thing coming down to the bottom. This machine's designed so he's not getting overextended, but I also wouldn't want him to come way down here. This first piece here is gonna be mostly calf or the gastronemia shortening that. So we wanna stay here, stay locked in those hamstrings, core tight, some glute tension, bend the knee.